Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a makeup tutorial using some new um, products that I recently picked up. Um, just really quickly, I did get the Makeup Forever HD Ultra Stick. I know that this isn't new, but it is new to me. First time trying it and you will see how I like it. I also picked up the new NYX Ombre Blush in New To Me. The new, whoa, the new Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum and then... What else do I have? Oh yeah, the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealers. So I am going to be using these products for the first time here on this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and if you want to know how I got it, then just keep on watching. I'm first gonna get started with the new Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum and this claims to instantly combat pores so it minimizes your pores. We'll see how it works. Um, it says that it is oil, silicone, and alcohol free. And I just picked this up yesterday at Walmart. If you do see my skin red, my skin is freaking out, you guys. Like, I have no idea what is going on. It's so frustrating. Um, I try not to wear makeup, but obviously I need to film. This is what it looks like. The packaging is actually really cute. I'm just going to pump some to the back of my hand. I'm just going to grab a little bit. And then I'm going to dab it onto the areas where I have pores. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And I picked mine up in Y405. I also picked this one up yesterday just because I've been curious about it. So hopefully it matches me. And we'll see how I like it. Looks like the foundation matches my skin. Pretty nice. I really like the finish of the foundation. It does have a dewy finish. I don't know if it's because I used it with a beauty blender. Um, I can definitely use a little bit more coverage up here. Um, again, just because right now my skin is like acting out and it's so red. It doesn't help that I pick at it too. I'm so horrible. But I really like it so far. We'll see how it holds up. I'm gonna take this new concealer by NYX. It's the Gotcha Covered um, Concealer. It is waterproof and I picked mine up in medium olive. Oh, that's really thick. It's a really thick consistency. You guys can see that. So hopefully a little goes a long way. I'm gonna set my concealer with this Sacha, Sacha, Sasha, Sasha. Um, this is the Buttercup um, powder, and this is I don't think I think that's I think that's the name of it, Buttercup. Um, it is a little too dark for my skin right now, but I know it'll come in handy once I get a little bit darker during the summer. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna move on to my bronzer and I'm gonna be taking the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil in Deep Tan. This is a matte bronzer. I really like this one. And I'm gonna take the new Wet n Wild brushes and I don't think this one has a name, but I think this is like a blush or a bronzer brush. Hey, wait. I'm 
also going to take some of the new Wet n Wild brushes. This is a large stippling brush. And I'm just going to go over that bronzer because I want a little crazy right here. I'm just going to blend that out. And I'm just going to dust away the powder while we're at it. And then for blush, I'm going to use the new NYX Ombre blush in the color nude to me it's a really pretty dark brush or dark blush i thought it was going to be a bronzer but it has too much shimmer for my liking so i'm just going to use it as a blush topper that's super pigmented So I'm just going to leave the face alone for now. I'm going to go in and fill in my eyebrows. Um, let me know if you guys want to see an updated brow routine because from the last one that I made, I think it has changed a little bit. I do draw in my eyebrows a little bit thicker now. So give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you guys still want to see an updated brow routine. And I will do that for you guys. So let me just do off. Let me just do that off camera and then we can move on to the eyes. So I've already primed my lids, so we're going to move on right, right into the eyeshadows. I'm going to take my favorite palette, which is my Z palette by Luxie Beauty. And I'm going to take this color right here, which is Weakness. It's a very pretty mustard color. I'm going to take that on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply it right onto the crease area. This is going to work as a transitional color. And we are just going to blend. Now I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to pick up, oh, what's this? This is called Bitter and it's a red brown color. And then a quick tip, when you're packing on the eyeshadow before you start blending, you want to hold your brush really close to like the tip and you just want to pack it on like this. Let's just keep packing it on. And then once you're ready to blend, you can just wipe off the excess, grab your brush from pretty much the tip of the brush, and then start blending. Now the third and final color that I will be packing on is spiced and compared to bitter um, you can see that this one has a little bit more red to it this one has a little bit more brown take this one right here this is the Luxie 220 229 tapered brush as you can see this is a lot more red but it all works together I'm going to take a big fluffy brush just to blend all the colors together. This is my holy grail favorite brush. It's the Pro Tapered Blending by Beauty Junkies. Um, it's a brand sold on Amazon. You guys know that I've talked about them before. I really like their company and the customer service for me. I think it's pretty amazing. And the prices on these are just phenomenal. So if you guys are interested, I will have a link down below. I'm not affiliated with them, but they have sent me some products for free um, to review them in my channel if I like them. And you guys know that every time I like a product, I show it to you guys. So I'm just gonna keep blending and blending and blending. I'm gonna pick up this vanilla shade shadow from Luxie. This is a different brand, Luxie Eyeshadows. I think it's the 111 and I'm just gonna pack it onto the brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer. This is really good stuff. I love my e.l.f. one, but I think this one just kind of took its place. 
So I'm going to take a little bit of that glitter primer and I'm going to apply it to the inner part of the eye. I'm just going to dab it in. And then the last color from Luxie Beauty is going to be this one right here. Um, let me give you a close-up. It kind of reminds me of Insomnia by Makeup Geek. And then I'm going to go back into the fluffy brush and I'm just going to softly blend those edges just so we don't have a harsh line. So that's what the eyeshadow looks like. I really like it. It's a really pretty color. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off this eye and then we can move on to liner and mascara and lashes. So I actually went ahead and finished off the eyes. Um, I did the same steps as far as the colors to the bottom lashes. I got distracted. I was calling my dermatologist and I was talking and I was doing my makeup. So I did finish off my eyes, but um, I'm going to move on to the highlight. I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number two. And I get questions on what brush this is all the time. And this is an up and up brush from Target. It doesn't have a name or a number but it comes in a pack of like four or five for like eleven dollars so I'm just gonna take some of that highlight and I'm just going to bring some luminosity to my skin you can also wet your brush to get a more intense highlight but since I'm going to just tape off this makeup Right now, I'm not going to pack it on too much, like I usually do. Keep it full. Chin. And then, arriba de la ceja. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick and Teddy. And then we will be done with our makeup. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. And let me know if you guys prefer talk-throughs or if you guys prefer voiceovers. Or if you want me to kind of switch them up because I would love to do that for you guys. So really quickly... Let me just tell you about the products that I use today. I actually really like the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer Serum. I do feel like it did a really good job at um, covering my pores, even though my skin is acting up right now. It still looks really good around this area. My pores do really, my pores do look really nice and minimized. Did a really good job at filling them in, so I really recommend this. Thumbs up. The NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in the color Medium Olive is amazing. It's really thick, but once you apply it, it almost melts onto your skin and it's very full coverage. And it gives you like a very nice luminous finish. I really like it and it doesn't really crease up on me too much. Even though I do have little arruguitas underneath my eyes, it did a very good job and the color is perfect. Also, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation is 
so good. I don't know why I've taken so long to try out this foundation. I really, really, really recommend it. It did a very nice job at covering everything. And the color is just like spot on from my face to my neck, which I always have a hard time. And then the last thing that I tried out as well was the NYX Ombre Blush in Nude to Me. This is an absolutely gorgeous blush. It is very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. Um, I feel like it's more of a blush bronzer, but I personally wouldn't use it as a bronzer all over because it is a little too shimmery. But if you want to apply it as a topper for your blush, then I think it just looks gorgeous. So those were my final thoughts on these products. Again, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you do. Leave me a comment again down below and letting me know what videos you guys would like to see. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.